Hey, we've been working all day, getting ready to go to Sumter. The command vehicle is loaded. Jeff, come on over while we show this. Let me open this thing up. Hundred and fifty plus signs. I think it was at, in the afternoon. Yeah, just goofing off. And Jeff, Jeff and I figured out that if we had about six people in a little assembly line, we probably could do about a thousand of these signs. Easy, easy in the afternoon we can do a thousand of them. And cost wise, we're cost below wise, fifty cents, aren't we? Yeah, we're well below fifty cents a sign. Oh. Of course, the gas getting them there and all, but this is what people can do. I mean, it, you look at how simple this is, and from a real a distance at 55 miles an hour, these things really make a difference. And they're not made by packs. They're not made by you know some conglomeration in Atlanta or what. Nobody's making any money. It's raw materials. And painted and, and, and finished up and, and to, to get the message out as cheaply as possible and nobody's making any money. So it's by far the best way to tell tell South Carolina and the United States that let's lose Lindsay. Lose Lindsay. But that, the, the thing is, this is the voice of the people. This is the grassroots. This is grassroots. This is not Freedom Works. This is not Carl Rove. This is not this is your voice. This this right here is just Jeff and I goofing around today. And like I said, if we had six people in a good afternoon, we could have a thousand of these. Please come out and help us and, and get part of this. We need to get rid of the cancer that's killing South Carolina and America, and it's called the progressive cancer in Lindsey Graham Regardless of what he says, he is not a conservative. He is a progressive. See us at Sumter Tea Party tomorrow night, Thursday at 7 o'clock at the Elks Lodge. See you there.